Hello, this is Hope Kaya of SantaFeWebDesign.net and we're working today with Joomla and Foca Gallery. I have many videos on my YouTube channel about this uh, and this one in April 2013 is about how to add new items to your Foca Gallery in Joomla uh, and also how to copy or actually you have to recreate uh, an image to put in a separate category. If you need the same image in multiple categories, you, you cannot copy or duplicate. You have to recreate it more or less. I'm going to show you both and we'll be working in the admin area of Joomla. But first, this is IndianArt.us. It's the new website for Alan Hauser, a brilliant contemporary American artist, deceased now, but with an um, incredible prolific uh, body of work and we're going to go to see the page that has all of the pieces in his inventory I'm waiting for it to load and you can see as we scroll down how many uh, amazing uh, bronzes he did um, in his lifetime and not just bronzes but paintings and drawings and uh, just unbelievable amount of absolutely exquisite work and I highly recommend that you go to his site. So what we're going to do is add a new piece to this, add a, add a piece that is not in the inventory, into the inventory on the website, I mean. And um, we're also going to put it in the newly acquired category. So first thing first, because we have formatting on this site, I'm clicking on a thumbnail and I'm waiting for it to open. I want you to see the formatting. It's very simple, but um, it's important. We have the first line in the description is, uh, is italic. And basically because of that, and um, there are other good reasons, we're gonna be working in the admin area of Joomla as opposed to uploading to the front end of Joomla. So that means logging into the admin area of Joomla and you need to have the admin login URL and your username and password before you see this. And depending on your permissions, you may or may not see all of these boxes here, but you will see components, Foca Gallery, and images, and you will click on images to add a new image. I choose Foca Gallery because it has the best search engine optimization capability of anything I have found yet in WordPress or in Joomla and no doubt that will change soon but not yet. So I that's my my main focus is making sure that my artists and clients can um, uh, connect up with their ideal customer searching for them or their work. Okay so here we are we're looking at all the images in this Foca gallery and we're going to add a new one. All right, so we're gonna click on new. And we're gonna be uh, getting that new image off of our hard drive. Uh, so we might wanna start there. I'm gonna click on select file name. And we have folders for all the different categories of this particular website. And I'm gonna click on the Allen Hauser art category folder. This has all those pieces that we just scrolled down and looked at together. And we're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to go and choose a file from the hard drive. So I'm just going to click on the chant. Okay. And I'm going to open it. If it's huge, if it's got like 3000 pixels instead of 300, um, here, if the pixels are really high, you may have to reduce the size. And I have another video on this YouTube channel on how to do that. You could go to youtube.com forward slash keyword hope and then search for image and you'll find the one about resizing images. And you probably don't want it to be more than a thousand pixels in any direction before you do this. But this is fine. So we're going to open it. We're going to remember the name and then we're gonna start uploading it. And we're gonna wait. It's making the thumbnails. Now we have to find it in this big list of thumbnails, which is kind of a pain, but most browsers like mine, I'm in Chrome right now. If you do Command F as in find or Control F as in find, you will see 
up here that you can, or somewhere on your browser, you can do a search. So I'm going to search for chant. And so we've got this one, which we know isn't correct because we remember the picture and the next one isn't correct. This is the one we just added. Okay. So I'm going to hit, you can actually just click on the image and you can see now that, that the file has been found and populated into this field. So we're going to say, we're going to give it the title that matches the chant. We're going to ignore the alias because that will automatically be populated. We absolutely have to choose the category, Alan Hauser Indian Art. Later, we'll be choosing new pieces, but for now, Alan Hauser Indian Art. And then here we're going to put, now I'm we're scrolling down, we're skipping everything else, we're scrolling down to the description. And if you have JCE Editor installed, you're going to have all these buttons available. And I highly recommend that you have JCE Content Editor installed. All right. So we're going to put the, the medium here, which would be bronze, put the addition, and then we'll put the size. And then I'm going to hit shift return or soft return. And the difference between shift return or soft return and a full return is that you're holding the shift key down when you hit return and it doesn't go down as far. So I'm going to hit delete and I'm going to hit the full return. See how much farther down the cursor is now? Whereas if I hit delete and hold my shift key down and hit return, it's closer up, which we want in this case. You may not, but that's fine. And now we put the description of the piece here. If your gallery does not have titles and descriptions showing, I highly recommend that you do use them because of search engines, especially if you choose the no pop-up function in Foca Gallery. And you can look at their documentation to see what I mean. Um, so we now have the medium, the addition, and the size, and we're going to italicize that with the italics button. And then we have the description of the piece. Now, what you want to do is copy some of this text here and then scroll back up and go into your meta description and paste it so that if somebody does a search for Alan Hauser, the chant, because they know about this, and it shows up in Google, this particular sentence is going to show up under the link and will help encourage people to click on that link. The keywords is ignored by Google. I believe at this time it's still read by Bing and Yahoo. So you might want to put um, Indian art sculpture here, whatever keywords you're kind of focusing on. And now we're going to save and close. So that's all you have to do. You put the title in, you choose the category, you select the file and you have, you, if you need to upload it from your server, you scroll all the way to the bottom and you browse and you insert it. Then you have to select it again within that window, within this window here. And the easy way to do that is to, to type the name up here, chant, but first you have to go into the folder that it goes in and then you can search for chant and uh, so right now it's not doing it because it, it had it in memory, but, um, and if you, if that's not working, if your find is not working, usually you can just scroll down until you find it. Well, we've already done it, so I'm not going to redo it, but, um, let's just see if it's alphabetically here. Yeah. So the chant. Okay. And then we've put the, you know, whatever your text is that's going here and whether it's italicized or not, um, you could always um, see our Indian art blog and, and highlight that and link with the link to another menu item that you want people to be finding. So we have a menu and a main menu those, all those links across the top are the main menu and we have an Indian art blog. So we could link to that uh, right now, but uh, we're not because uh, that blog isn't active at the moment. So I'm going to cross that out, but that would be a really fun thing you could be doing as you're adding images to this site. All right. So now we've got everything we need. You really can ignore all these empty fields and just hit save and close. 
generating thumbnails. Let's look at the site now. I'm going to go to the front of the site. I'm going to go to Allen Hauser Works of Art. And I'm going to find the chant. Once again, we have three. The next one, and here we go. It's the last one added. So we've got it, and if we click on it, we see uh, that we have the italics and the description. All right, now we need to put this in the newly acquired category. So we're going to go back to the admin area and we're going to create new. We have to do it over, I'm sorry to say. And I'm going to say the chant. But this time the category is newly new pieces. And then the file name, you know, we already have it. We already have it in this folder, so we don't have to download it. And I'm going to search for chant up here. I've searched for chant, and I'm going to keep going, clicking until I find it. And I'm clicking on it. And then I'm scrolling down because you don't need any of the other fields. And then I'm putting the medium, the addition, and the size. Shift return, and then the description. And up here, scroll back up, we copy and paste the description. And then maybe here put Indian art. You might say bronze this time instead of sculpture, not say the same thing every time. Not even say Indian art every time. You might say Allen Hauser bronze. Okay, so. At this point, we now can italicize this first line with italics. And I want to tell you what you do if you're copying and pasting out of another website or a Word document. Um, you, can, you can do it in a certain way. For instance, if I go to um, here, look at this text here, inquire about any piece. Let's say I'm copying some text. Uh, off out of a Word document right now. So I'm copying it and then I'm hitting return here and I'm pasting it. Um, you may find, see I just highlighted it. Look what I'm highlighting it. See how that, that white link is here? Um, it's totally not formatted properly right now because it's copying the formatting off of another page. So if you do paste from any other application you want to highlight what you've copied and pasted and then hit this eraser up here. Okay, now it's not removing the link color, sadly. So um, there's if that if that doesn't work, you can usually that, that eraser removes all formatting, but in this case it's not. So I'm just gonna cut it and do this, which always releases all the formatting. Click on the little icon for the clipboard and the little drop down arrow and paste as plain text, which doesn't always work until you save what you've done so far. So I'm going up to the top and saving. I am now putting my cursor here and next to the clipboard, paste as plain text and then paste. If you're on a Mac, of course, it's Command V, it's not Control V. And now insert. Now see how everything's legible here? Um, and But there's some strange paragraph returns, so I'm going to hit delete to make sure everything flows properly and so that there's no weird paragraph returns. So that's how you would paste. First you can just directly paste and then try the, the eraser button. And if that doesn't clear weird formatting, you, can, um, you want to save what you've done already and then you want to use this clipboard and paste as plain text. Okay? So I'm going to delete this. I just wanted to show you that was important. And we've got everything now, right? The description, the keywords, everything we need. And it's in the right category. New pieces. Save and close. We're going to go to the front end. Alan Hauser Art. Newly acquired. And there's the chant. Okay? So now I'm going to delete these. And uh, I'm going to go to the back end. Again, and I'm going to search for chant. It's really easy to find anything, any image, by just putting the file name here. Now we know it's these two, right? These two. 
we just added both to the Indian art category and to the new pieces category. So we're just going to delete them because they're not real right now. And I'm doing that. So um, that is how you add new pieces via the back end of Joomla and Foca Gallery to the front end. And I'm going to refresh this page now and you'll see the chant is gone. And so um, there are other there are other tutorials on youtube.com forward slash keyword hope for Foca Gallery and images and resizing and search engines. So I invite you to, to do some searches. You could put Foca in the search field. So if we go to YouTube keyword hope, you could search for Foca here. And that would be everything I've done about Foca Gallery. You see there's a lot. And right now it doesn't show the one I'm making at this moment, but it will shortly. Okay, I hope you enjoy Joomla and enjoy Foca Gallery and you're able to connect with your ideal customer. Again, this is Hope Kaya of SantaFeWebDesign.net.